Hey Kevin, this is Justin from Porsche of Colorado Springs. Uh, sorry, I wanted to rinse this car off real quick just because when I was doing my walk around it was hard to pick out uh, any of the stuff that, uh, that you wanted to see on the car. So, um, I got it running and I apologize, I just rinsed it off in one of our detail bays here. Uh, but uh, here's our 03 Targa and I wanted to kind of point out that, I apologize, the wheels are still a little bit dirty. Um, but you're looking for blemishes on the car. Wheels actually look pretty good. I noticed one uh, has a little bit of a rash on it. Let's see. Here we got a little, little ding there. The front bumper never had a clear mask put on it. Uh, so it does have some kind of some road road grime, if you will, like little little pits and stuff in places. Uh, the hood actually doesn't look too bad. There's one kind of skip mark across the hood. I mean, there's a couple small uh, dings in there, maybe a little touch up paint. I did notice this piece looks like it's not loose, so hopefully that can just be secured. Um, this is, I think, the worst wheel out of the bunch. And then, kind of just going back to the other wheel here. Again, the wheel's dirty right now. It's covered in water, but I think it looks all right. And then actually, here on the inside, it is a gray interior. The seat itself, as far as the bolster goes, doesn't look real bad. It's got a little bit of wear. Nothing horrible. Uh, it's got some wear on the seat switch area. Uh, and actually the steering wheel, it's got a little, someone was holding on tight, obviously. Uh, 54,759 miles. Hop inside here. Oh, turn the radio down. Uh, let's see, passenger seat, uh, it's like a little, kind of a dent in the leather. Actually, maybe, hopefully a little heat might bring that out. Uh, and then this soft touch this gray I mean it's it's not gray plastic I mean it's 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 black plastic that has a soft touch coating on it from the factory um, you can see where it's got a little bit of nicks here and there there's a blinking plug that's supposed to be right here it looks just like this one so we need to get find out what happened to that piece replace that and our center console is still intact that's nice usually that uh, that's a common piece to see break uh, and then our steering wheel like I pointed out before there's a little bit of wear on there uh, but overall um, the car is actually pretty nice I uh, got our target top see if I can get that shade to open and it's a little chilly here today actually but let's see we'll get the target top to open yeah it's pretty cold here today it actually snowed it's April 30th we've had a couple days of snow now and so this is the part that I was mentioning. It's actually kind of important to work the top so it doesn't work <laughs> super slow like that. And uh, so I might need to warm up here a little bit. And we'll keep doing it in some stages here just to get it to go. And all right. There's our top. And then actually there's a release button here. Point out the hatch. Rear hatch just popped. Check it out. That's the kind of the coolest feature about the Targa, other than the roof itself. Get it's cold, so our struts are a little bit weak right now. But as soon as it warms up, those those help out a lot. Back seats obviously pull down. And then here's the mechanism I was talking about, where people a lot of times they just kind of slam the piece closed. Where if we just set it down, and it sucks back in place. So hopefully this helps describe the car uh, a little bit better and uh, I look forward to talking to you soon.